So um, of the five courses in the specialization, um, each one of them deals with a different aspect of virtual reality. Could you um, please describe for us the, the journey of a learner? Yes, through, through yeah, of course. I yeah. mean, I'll start with the first one because that's a very kind of introductory course, introduction to VR. And that course really is designed for everyone, anyone who's interested in VR, you don't even need to have access to any VR devices or a, you know, a powerful machine. You can just do the course and there are only design documents you have to produce uh, as a result of the course. But we do want to make sure you understand all the hardware that are available and how to use them, all the existing applications developed in the past 20 to 30 years and how does these two kind of hardware and application actually work with each other and then how you can use this to utilize your ideas and what kind of ideas work on VR and what kind of ideas also works on 2D media, which is much easier to produce anyway, so that you can really, um, you know, um, basically develop your own idea, your own design in VR, understand the reason behind doing it. And on top of that sort of conceptual foundation, uh, the second course is the first one where you actually doing practical world work to build a VR environment and, and that course will focus on the graphics, building the objects and the environments in which you'll move around it in VR and you know a real introduction to 3D. And the third one we're really looking at how do you interact in this 3D space how do you move around? How do you interact with objects with your hands or even just with your eyes if you don't have access to that level of hardware? Um, and also lots of concepts in 3D interaction design as well. And the fourth course is really about social interaction in VR. So that's going to be a big thing in the future of VR, something Sylvia and I have worked on for many years. So we're going to look at how in particular body language works in VR in a way that it, it doesn't in, in other media. And we're going to look at sort of characters and representations of people in VR. Exactly, and that's kind of, you know, how, what got us interested in VR 12, 15 years ago. I mean, it, it's a really sort of amazing experience if you haven't done it, having somebody mm. in front of you in VR, life size, nothing like seeing it on the screen. It really feels like you're with another person. And also, how do you present your own body in VR as well? So it's a big part of what VR is going to be about in the future. And then the final course is your opportunity to put everything together and create your first sort of medium-sized VR project. So you're really um, building on everything you've learned to, to make something, to make a VR game. It's not essential. It doesn't have to be a game. We've, we've sort of, but a game is a good starting point for, for your first VR project. And um, really there we, we, we aim is to get you started, but also, you know, your first step into working professionally in VR if that's where you want to go. Yeah, and in order to help the learners to do that, we basically interviewed lots of experts in VR who have been working in this place for 20, 30 years, and newcomers as well, artists, game developers, and basically we have lots of interview material from these people explaining what makes them excited about VR and how, their advice to our learners.